जय गुरुदेव लेट स्टार्ट विथ गुरुवंदनम अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नाचराचर तत्पद दर्शित ये नस्म गुरव नम जय गुरुदेव आई एम स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम तिरुमला फ्रॉम आवर आश्रम इन गोगर्भा I wanted to share an experience of Shiva, of Param Shiva, here while I was in Gogarbha. There is the hill behind the ashram, which is a, a very long hill, and I would see it as Shiva lying down. You could see the face, the neck, the chest, and the limbs, and that is how I would perceive it. And every day in the morning. I would stand in front of it and read one or two Shiva stotras. This is the same hill where I mentioned the fire happened to. So during this time when this experience of Shiva happened or the appearance of Shiva happened then there were no other ashrams here we were the only ashram and literally there were no lights even on the street lights either so it used to be pitch dark and uh, when we were going to the temple or out me and saurabh we used to carry flashlights so this was the night before uh, shivaratri and uh, we finished the rudra abhishekam and while i was in tirumala we would do the nine days of the devi saptasati parayanam and puja before the shivaratri because it was very clear in my consciousness that grace of mother is needed to experience shiva and her during shivaratri and every shivaratri i would experience them i would see them after midnight but this particular shivaratri after we finished the puja and everything it was quite late and around midnight i went up i went up on the terrace i felt so blissful and so fulfilled in my heart and i started i was just there standing with great joy looking at the hill looking at the hill it was pitch dark there were no other lights and then all of a sudden i saw a very bright light in the center of the hill almost like in the chest area of the hill which i would think of as the sleeping shiva it was an unusual light very white very white like a crystal white and i was wondering you know where is that light coming from the middle of the hill it was very small and extremely bright and white it was not like any of these electric lights um then the light started growing and it was growing and it was growing and then i knew it was shiva and all i could say was shiva you have come even before the now shivaratri there was such gratitude such joy this tears came streaming down my eyes and i would ask him did mother come with you 
and the light grew bigger and bigger. And by this time, I didn't know what was happening. Standing like that, I went into complete samadhi, but my eyes were open and I was seeing the light growing and growing and then the whole hill was lit up. The whole hill from one end to the other, from top to bottom, was lit up with this very bright white light. Shiva was very alive there. By this time, I had no consciousness of the body. It was so light, it was like floating in the air. And uh, and the bliss, the bliss was beyond. I mean, you know, the it was unbounded. It was just not in the body. It was everywhere. It, it's very difficult to describe and for me even to comprehend. And then, and then the Tandava began. The Tandava began right in my heart. The Tandava was going on. I was that Shiva and I was the Tandava. Every cell was reverberating and every cell was dancing in that Tandava. And then as I moved, because I was not looking with my ordinary eyes, I was looking with that inner eye and as I moved around, I could see every leaf dancing, every branch dancing, every being dancing, every particle dancing, the nritya of the Tandava. It was then I understood very clearly that this Tandava happens, Shiva Tandava happens in the Samadhi. Yes, it could happen in the gross body, but it happens in the Samadhi, in the subtlest form, in the subtlest way. After this, I had many experiences of this Tandava happening within myself during the Samadhi state. And the bliss is so explosive, it is not, cannot, I cannot define it. It is just so explosive. And it seems not just this being, but every being is in Tandava. Every being is in Tandava. The whole of creation is in Tandava. So as I was looking, not with my two eyes, then slowly, slowly, I don't know what time it was. I don't know how long it was, but slowly, slowly, the light diminished and then Shiva went away. <coughs> the hill came back to normal. Then it to, I stood there. I don't know how long it took for me to come back to the physical state, but all I knew was my whole chest was wet, with filled with tears. It was just the Ananda, Ananda Ashrubu, the tears of this bliss, just, you know, completely covered my chest. As I slowly walked down the steps, then I saw one of the ashram swamis and he was standing there and he looked at me and he said, Ma, you brought down Shiva. I said, you know what happened? And then he said, you were there looking at it. I saw the mountain was full of light. So I was very happy that one, at least one Swami saw it and witnessed it. But for the rest of the world, they were all asleep. They were all asleep. They were unconscious. Like this, I had so many experiences of Shiva and Vishnu <clears throat> and other gods. And this is their way of blessing, blessing, blessing the one who is doing the tapas. And this is, this is how it is in the cosmos. If one person wants to be enlightened, then so many sages and all the gods will bless that being. This is what I wanted to share with you. I am so eternally grateful to Paripunananda Griswamiji 
मलयाल स्वामी जी गुरुदेव एंड ऑल शिव एंड पार्वती एंड ऑल द गॉड्स एंड सेजेस हु कंटिन्यूसली कंटिन्यूसली ब्लेस्ड मी वॉइल आई वॉज इन तिरुमला एंड इन हिमालय इन तपस जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव लोक समस्त सुखिनो भवंतु ओम शांति शांति शांति